Lunar eclipse, best time to see it is between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. Really, the key point would be around 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, again, this is a lunar eclipse, not a solar eclipse. You don't need the sunglasses for this. Lunar eclipse. Lunar this eclipse. happens every 84? Well, it usually happens one or two times a year. Just it really does. Uh, but there have been some years where it will occasionally skip. But in 1982, they had three lunar eclipses. I guess that's the plural way to say uh -huh. it. But what makes this one really unique is not only do you have a lunar eclipse, it's the time that it's happening right during the winter solstice. Last time that happened was back in 1554. Wow. So, uh, yeah, and it probably won't happen again until about 2092, so we may be waiting a so while. So I should get out of bed at 3 in the morning. The, I, I'm still wondering Maybe. myself. <laughs> Let me show you exactly how lunar eclipse occurs. What happens is you have the sun here, as obvious by the symbol of the sun. You have the Earth and the Earth's orbit. The moon has its orbit. What happens during a lunar eclipse is that the Earth actually blocks the sun's rays from hitting the moon itself. And again, it doesn't just happen instantaneously. The best time will be between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. The key point would be around 3 a.m. And if you happen to be on the eastern seaboard, your weather condition should be picture perfect because you're not going to have much in terms of cloud cover. So uh, east coast, you should be just, just fine. A little bit chilly out there, but grab some cocoa, some nice cameras, and uh, take some shots and send them into us.